Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the TGU, the Turkish get up. And I want to be showing you in twine with that, the reverse get up, get down. So you're doing a pretty much a full complete workout. Now, what I want you to understand and appreciate is being able to keep good shoulder stability. And this is where you're using your body weight first is one of the most important things. Once you're able to understand what your body is doing, and the positions that you're putting yourself in to get yourself up off the floor. This is where you'll start to enjoy it more and then add weight. And then you'll, you'll, you won't let ego get in the way of just trying to get up off the floor. So the good way to start off with is then starting off with using your shoe. Now, I want to show you with the kettlebell first, but the shoe will be a good way for you to place it on your knuckle and keeping your arm above head like this. I'm gonna show you with the kettlebell, um, the whole movement and how to do it. But if you are new to this and you're not sure about worrying about if the kettlebell's gonna fall on you, whether you're gonna keep good balance, keeping the kettlebell, keeping your shoe in position and moving will be a good starting base. So, there is a lot to take from this, but the key is enjoy the process. Don't rush, uh, enjoy moving, enjoy how it's gonna improve your overall health benefits, hip mobility, shoulder mobility, strength, just feeling good. So don't worry about the weight as mentioned, but I'm gonna talk you through all the components of this. Now, when we're on the floor, we're going to make sure that the starting position is the kettlebell is at the side of us. I am going to roll over to the kettlebell, okay? So my hand will go through the kettlebell and my other hand will go on top of it. What we're gonna do is we're going to roll over with the kettlebell. This will allow us, as we get heavier weight, to be able to put this kettlebell in position. Now, as you can see, the side of the kettlebell, my knee will be up. The other knee leg will be extended straight out to, how would they say? This will be seven o'clock. And the same would be with my hand, palm facing down. So what we're gonna look to do, you have a choice. You can either press the kettlebell up with two hands, or you can get a good tricep exercise by pressing it with one hand. So, that's the setup. Don't worry about anything else past that. As mentioned, the setup can be done exactly the same with your shoe, okay? Oh, get that shoe on. So, in that setup position, we the first cue is moving this shoulder with the kettlebell across to the seven o'clock position that I go onto my elbow, okay? I'm on my elbow in this position, okay? The next part is where I'm going to extend my, from my elbow into my hand. I'm always keeping my eye line on the kettlebell, okay? The next part is that I'm going to extend my knee out so that I can get it in a more um, optimal position for me to extend my hip. So I extend my knee out to place all my weight underneath it. And then I extend my hip as high as I can. The reason why I wanna learn how to extend my hip as high as I can is that I need to learn how to get my leg through. Now, another good tip is my shoulder and my arm on the floor has to be opened out. So that helps with stability in the arm and the shoulder. Arm and the shoulder, and then I'm going to learn how to bring my leg through to fall onto my tiptoe first and then my knee. The moment that you put your knee down and then try to do your tiptoe is where you'll find that you might be slightly off balance. So the key is open out the shoulder and the arm, bring the tiptoe and then the knee, keeping my eye on the kettlebell. And then I'm gonna sit my bum back to stand. Now, how you get up will be different, differ from different people. 
Some people like to turn their knee. I prefer to turn my leg, okay? Doesn't matter. Once you're in that position, you're able to stand up through this leg. So the same side and the same leg, the other leg will go back to reverse that process, to turn the leg out. And this is what's crucial now. Hand on the thigh, slide the hand down the thigh, hand to the side. Do not go backwards, try not to go backwards, to the side, to then open up the shoulder. Eye line on the kettlebell to bring the leg through, to drop the hips down, to slide the hand away, to slowly come down and rest. While this, I understand, is a lot to take in, once you've mastered this and picked it up, I can promise you that it, you will feel unstoppable because as you can see, that was a long time I was under tension having that kettlebell in the air and a good process for males to achieve is roughly half their body weight and for females uh, 0.5 of their body weight. If you are able to do that then you are having good strength or good signs that you are strong. But again, not chasing the weight, chase the process, chase the journey, enjoy the journey and again if you have any questions about anything please feel free to drop me a DM at any time.